Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. You know, we got good news today and we love good news around here. And the word is that Lisa Bonet and Jason Momoa are in fact back together again. Yes. We're going to start out with the statements that were made to the press and then a bit of commentary. I hope we all know what commentary is. Mm -hmm. Okay, it has been confirmed uh, by a source very close to Jason that the pair are living together again. And they have been ever since about a month after they initially separated. The source revealed that Jason and Lisa are very much back together again and that the pair feel that they have just invested too much in each other to just throw in the towel. And this source seems to be credible, so yeah, that is to be celebrated. Now, when Jason was spotted at the premiere of Batman in New York City, of course he was there in support of his stepdaughter, Zoe Kravitz, and he was interviewed on the red carpet. Of course, they got into the family thing and Jason just told reporters, we are still family. Of course, Jason was there with his son, Nokoa and daughter Lola, but Lisa Bonet was not in attendance. And there is a very good reason for this, according to the source, close to the family, okay? Some people, however, the fans, the media, they think the fact that Lisa was not there to accompany Jason is proof that they're not really back together because why wasn't she there at the premiere of Batman with the rest of the family? And also the statement that Jason made to the press, just saying that we're still family and never really confirming that they're reunited is further proof that this union didn't happen. Uh, that's what people are speculating. Um, but the, the source says the reason why Lisa was not there at the premiere is because that evening which was such a huge moment for daughter Zoe. And Lisa didn't want the evening being overshadowed with the press focusing on her and Jason as they went down the red carpet with all of the questions about the family. Um, and you can imagine how crazy that must be to have a high profile career in entertainment and then your private life, your relationship is just as um, headline worthy as your work. So, you know, when, when your relationship's going cool and smooth, it must be cool to talk to the press, but when you're breaking up in the public eye, um, it's kind of crazy how they try to get um, unflattering photos of you, for example, like they did with Jason Momoa <laughs> with the beat up t-shirt and all that, even though you know, they attach unflattering headlines to that a lot about, oh, he's going down since he split with Lisa. He actually wasn't far from home. Even when he left out of the house, he was just down the street. Those pictures were taken in the same neighborhood. So that says a lot about Jason and the fact that he wanted to be close to home. And he did eventually come back to Lisa. It's like that antidote says if you love someone set them free and if they return then it was meant to be it goes a lot of different ways but you know some men when they leave their marriage or there's a split all you see is the back of their head you know and you hear tires screeching and smoke because they can't wait to get out there and try the single life try it but these two i mean Obviously, that's not the case. They have a very strong bond and they're trying to work it out because they are friends and lovers. Even Jason and Lenny Kravitz have a strong bond. Lenny Kravitz being the father of Zoe Kravitz, obviously. Um, these guys wear friendship rings. They consider themselves friends, family, and brothers. They're like a big love commune over there. I mean, I just... I feel love shooting through my body when I talk about them. Now, I'm not trying to say that there's some kind of guarantee that Lisa and Jason are going to stay together forever, but they might. Who knows? 
But I really do believe that we are witnessing true love because these two, they just do everything in such a chill way. They're not trashing each other and all that Instagram dragging and carrying on that people do. No, no, They're, these are not hostile people. They're extremely chilled. So I can't imagine them getting down like that. You know, especially Lisa, even when Lisa broke up with Lenny Kravitz when their marriage dissolved, that was smooth and drama free. And Lisa was a young woman at that time. And she was still, even back in the day, she was laid back. Now, I've already did a video about this elite family of rock stars, because they're all rock stars, um, and how I admire their family bond, irregardless of their marital status. So that includes Lenny Kravitz, because they all, like Jason said, we are still family. Like, we are family. And <laughs> Lisa is at the heart of that. She She's just a beautiful soul that attracts beautiful souls into her life. And she's a nurturing, virtuous queen. So rather these two stay under the same roof or not, they still love each other. Not to mention, they still have these two young Momoa teens that have a lot of growing up to do. So I don't think Jason is ever going far away. I mean, never, I don't believe it. I know. That's a bold prediction, I know. Um, and you know, to be honest, I mean, I have my opinion. Even when they announced the breakup, I didn't really think it was like horrible. Cause it just, I mean, they're human. They're going through a rough patch. It happens to people. People fall out with their loved ones all the time. There are times when you might not even wanna speak to your own mama. Your, your, your siblings, your best friend, because you don't agree with each other at the moment or you're hurt about something. But when that dust settles, you reconnect. And yeah, these people, they have an amazing connection that they all share. I'm not trying to say that it's going to be like a fairy tale. It just remains to be seen because... There's a lot of distractions that will come at you in your relationship, everybody's. This world is ready to test you with destructive forces of evil, but Aquaman or Catwoman, that they, they'll save the day, I'm joking. But seriously, these two have work to do. They have things to work through. Of course, Jason still has that high profile career that causes them to be apart. And some of these chicks out here, these thirsty chicks, sometimes they're jealous, gold digging, or just the just regular average, easy woman that wanna give up tail in this entertainment scene. You know, stuff going on. Even with a man like Jason, who is so publicly going through a rough patch and working on his relationship, these thoughts out here, they, they don't give a damn. They, in this whole culture of just insta sex and man, this, he, he will keep me nervous. Look, look at him. He, he, but this man, he is working on his family. Even when they split, you know, he tried to stay out of trouble. He just, I'm sure he was taking care of his hobbies in that beat up shirt, trying to stay out of trouble. He wasn't in the club every day of the week. No, I heard he's even scared of Lisa. But I know Jason is a social creature. That's pretty clear. But more than anything, the man treasures his family and his relationship and all they've built together. Um, and don't, don't get it twisted. Lisa, if she wanted to, if she wanted to be on the scene like that, she would. But this woman has sacrificed for her family. Um, Lisa already showed in the 80s and the 90s that she knows how to rock a party. But she chose to remove herself from the center point of all things Hollywood. And 
chose just to be seldom in front of the camera. You know, in that whole scene, she chose a much quieter route, investing in uplifting her family. And you see how her daughter turned out. You see what she was able to build with her husband, Jason Lamoa. His, his career took off like crazy. Um, it, it took some time, but yeah, behind every great man is a great woman. And I really wish them the best, good vibrations, positive. Yeah. Thank you for joining me. Peace.